I'm going to tell you about Google's latest update and break down what it means for your website. This update is cracking down on AI content, expired domains, and certain types of links. I'll let you know if you're good or if you should be worried. I'll also talk about the May 5th update coming up that I haven't seen anyone talking about and why everyone should be concerned. Let's get in it. Google is implementing new updates to its search algorithm and spam policies to reduce low quality and unoriginal content in the search results. Pretty much AI. But let's take a look directly at the announcement. I'll just highlight the few key points and what they mean for SEO and your website. Today, we're announcing key changes to improve the quality of search and helpfulness of your results, improve quality ranking, surface the most helpful information on the web, and reduce unoriginal content and search results. New and improved spam policies. We're updating our spam policies to keep the lowest quality content out of search like expired websites repurposed as spam repositories by new owners and obituary spam. That last part is wild, but check this part. Reduce low quality, unoriginal content and search results by 40%. You can see Google is ready to seriously chop down the SERPs. 40% amounts to a lot of sites getting dropped out of the SERPs. Let's check out what'll get you axed by Google. It's no secret Google is sick of AI content, so it's no surprise the first thing they mention is essentially AI content. Here in this section, scaled content abuse, I wanna point out this part. Strengthening our policy to focus on this abusive behavior producing content at scale to boost search ranking, whether automation, humans, or a combination are involved. This will allow us to take action on more types of content with little to no value created at scale, like pages that pretend to have answers to popular searches, but fail to deliver helpful content. This means they're gonna flag sites with lots of content posted in a short amount of time. We don't know the exact number of articles they consider at scale, but you can assume sites that are posting thousands of posts per day, probably even a hundred per day will get you flagged. They said automated human or a combination. I think this mostly applies to just automated because it would be difficult to produce that amount of content in combination with a human unless you have 40 or 50 people checking these articles every day before they publish. In which case, if you're doing that, you'll just get flagged. The big thing here is to space out your posts. No more loading hundreds of articles to the site at once. Create or generate articles and schedule them out. This is especially true if you have a newer website. This also ties into the expired domain part, but we'll come back to that. The next part is about site reputation abuse. So here in this section, it says, for example, a third party might publish payday loan reviews on a trusted educational website to gain ranking benefits from the site. We'll now consider very low value third party content produced primarily for ranking purposes and without close oversight of a website owner to be spam. We're publishing this policy two months in advance of enforcement on May 5th to give site owners time to make any needed changes. This seems to mostly impact news and media sites. I've seen in the community that it's meant to crack down on Parasite SEO, which is basically ranking pages on sites like Medium, Quora, or Vocal Media, and driving that traffic back to your own website. However, the example almost sounds more like getting those blog comment links on .edu sites. Those links still work and work pretty well when you can get them. My question is, at what level will this be implemented? Will this affect guest posting sites and those kind of links? Then we have the date of May 5th. Sounds like a scary movie coming from Google. 
Giving site owners time to make changes sounds like guest posting sites and possibly third party content sites will have to no index those posts. That would really shake up the SERPs and honestly could open more opportunities for smaller sites. Or it could open more opportunities for Reddit and Quora. Or it could open more opportunities for AI or SGE. Either way, keep a close eye on your rankings May 5th and the following couple of weeks. Good luck to you all. Last is expired domains. Here in this section titled expired domain abuse, it reads expired domains that are purchased and repurposed with the intention of boosting the search ranking of low quality content are now considered spam. Google has been trying to fight this for a while now, at least since 2020. Here's the issue. Businesses change hands and so do their websites and domains. So Google can't really devalue domains when a new website is built on it. However, they can and have devalued domains that hit the expired status. I believe they're going to continue this and probably make it even harder to revive a domain after it's been fully expired. The easy way around this is to use a drop catcher to get domains before they hit the expired floor. This has been more important the last couple of years and has become even more crucial now. I like Spamzilla for a drop catcher. I've got my best domains from there and they perform pretty well. Click the link in the description to check it out for free. Also, don't forget to be on the lookout for May 5th. I'll do an update sometime around then to talk about what I'm seeing and how to adjust. I also have some more AI software reviews in the works, so be on the lookout for those. Until then, check out these other videos of AI software you should be using.